Hi, Slumber Party listeners. It's your host, Tim Murray, wanting to remind you to make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can stay up to date on all of these interviews. Also, make sure you subscribe to iHeartRadio Broadway Network. I do all sorts of bonus episodes there that aren't available on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to my Patreon because you can get extra interviews with these guests, extra interviews with Jessica Bosk, Ben Fankhauser, Andrew Keenan Bolger, and so many more people. Enjoy today's interview. Thanks for watching. Hello, my lovely slumber party listeners. It's your host, Tim Murray, and you're listening to and or watching the show where I interview drag queens, comedians, and Broadway stars about their slumber party experiences growing up. We're already giggling. We're already in a giggly mood here at the Slumber Party Podcast. I am so excited. I've had this idea for a long time, and I'm so pumped. It's always fun doing one-on-one interviews, but I have wanted to feel more of a slumber party vibe with like a couple of friends so I said to myself how can I get two besties on the pod so we're doing a month of people who are besties and of course we're gonna call it alpha besties so we had to start with two people who are alpha besties they are alphabas and besties hello please welcome to the stage Jackie Burns and D. Rossioli (laughs) now you can talk D. I already messed up. I already started talking during your intro. I'm really sorry. I've messed that up. You can talk whenever you want, D. <laughs> on this podcast, alphabets are free to talk whenever they want. Thank if you. Was, if it was a Dr. Dilliman. Thank I'd you. Like, Thank you so much. You Thank it. you. <laughs> Dr. Dilliman. Oh, and he's just like in the corner being like, I didn't, and, you're like, I didn't, mm-hmm. and he's like, uh, act one only, baby. Act one only. And he used to have a whole song. How mean. You know? Now he's like that, afraid. Wait, is that true, D? I don't know that. Too. Yeah, yeah. You saw that that something bad was like a whole entire like thing. Really? Yeah. I couldn't tell you like what it was, but I did see I don't know where I saw the music for it, but it was like like a legit song. Let's improvise it right now. What we, what we think that would be. <laughs> That's funny. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, go for it. Go for it, Jackie. No, 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 you start and, and I'll be Madame Warble. Okay. On, on okay, her. great, great, great. I'm very upset. I'm very mad. Things are not going well. Elphaba, come help me or I'll burn in hell. Oh, uh, it's time for me to come in and make my interest. Oh, no, the song hasn't been cut down yet. I'm sorry. I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> back Continue in the wings, back. Morrible. <laughs> <laughs> Things are tough out here for us. Whatever will we do? Alphaba, I see in your future a bright ruby red shoe. Please, Alphaba, <laughs> help the animals. We need you. And if you help us, you can eat us. We will feed you something bad. <laughs> are, do you know how badly I want to be Dr. Dillman? <laughs> I mean, I think right there's your audition. Yeah, submit it. I mean, seriously. And I don't know why don't. you're not writing musicals. I don't know why either, D. That's like, it's, <laughs> that's such a good question. I've All week I've been like, do I even want to do comedy anymore? And then I think like, it would be so cool to be Benj Pasek or Lin-Manuel Miranda. But I think you have to like study and, and have that skill. I don't think you can just decide to. <laughs> you just did it. That's yeah, all it yeah. takes. Yeah. <laughs> You're like I wrote a musical. Just I, sing it into a recorder and send it to somebody that can write it out. <laughs> You're so right. Yeah. yeah. I said I said it to Ben. He'd be perfect to write that. Oh yeah, Ben could write it. Well just he'll he'll transcribe it. You're writing it. You're just gonna sing it and then he's gonna transcribe it. Okay, you're okay. In guitar. Look at us. We're we're here doing it in guitar. We're doing a podcast. We're also writing a musical at the same time. I wanna see the Dr. Dilliman treatment for that character. So like Elphaba was to Wizard of Oz, I would like to see Dr. Dilliman get his wicked. Like, oh yeah. Oh, a full God. musical just about Dilliman. Origin story of Dr. Dilliman. Yeah. That's what we need. So much happened It'll before. It'll like hotcakes. Oh, and then at the end, we can have a petting zoo on stage. You know how people love oh it. God. You know how people love interactive stuff. Okay, did we just save Broadway? Interactive theater, Jackie? What <laughs> hundred oh percent people I will come from all over like, the world. Hashtag we save Broadway. 
right now. And if there's anything that feels um, disease control safe, it's a petting zoo. (laughs) (laughs) Sanitary. Sanitary. We solved solved the COVID issue. No, but you honestly, everybody, you've never been to a petting zoo. I love petting zoo. I love petting zoo. Where you go in and then you sanitize when you leave so honestly i feel like it is a covid safe wait i didn't know I they, love they, they, they're taking the real precautions yeah go on d I, I do love animals but i don't like petting zoos and you know if truth be told i'm not this is this is going to be very controversial i'm not really a giant fan of goats okay, let's you never want to do the baby goat yoga oh yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i think those are really Sweet, but goats are a little bit weird to me. They're a little, they're I don't know weird. Yeah, they're like devilish. To yeah, me. Uh, that makes but sense. There's... That tracks. There's a little devilishness to yeah. a goat. But what? If yeah, like they're friends with the devil. You... What? What'd you say, Jackie? When a goat screams, when a goat screams, it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Did you? Yeah. Did I do it for you right now? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> that that works too. Okay. So got it. So got it. Did you hear that? So got it. So got it. That was an E. That was an E. (laughs) Really good placement, Jack. Really good placement. So open. It was not on my court at all. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Wow. Wow. You've been vocalizing every day in this whole quarantine. Every day. Every (laughs) day. Just for that. Keep it fresh. (laughs) Keep it fresh. I don't know, but I'm I'm sitting back. I'm going to watch the show. So. Wait, but the goat screaming during Defying Gravity is so funny. Oh, it's the best. That's the oh, best you know one. what? I don't know if I've seen that one. It's good. I haven't I seen that one. I've seen the. Are you gonna send it to me right now? Oh yeah. I've Get, seen like this the, is the YouTube video we watched at a slumber party. You've seen what one, D? I've seen the the Taylor Swift ones, you know, which are really funny. The ones where they enter, you know. With, but there's well, something about it that's kind of. That too pagan for you like pagan ritual like satanic the goats they're bringing up well no i mean i like those videos but as far as like you know being like oh goats are so sweet i'm like no (laughs) not into that (laughs) no not for me Mm -mm. they bite also you know what actually i think my favorite goat one is the lame is one the two four six (laughs) that's That's really good that's really good okay jackie we're ready we're so we're beyond ready Enough. Yeah, we can yeah. see it. Wait, where is it? It's coming. You're just playing Defy Gravity for us. <laughs> Wait, no! They said go! They said oh, it's, it's coming. coming. It's coming, it's coming. That's the best one. The timing of that is so good. Dumb. That's so dumb. I would kill to see one of you do that live on stage. <laughs> like you're, you're belting, you sound flawless, you sound gorgeous, and that last note, you just let out a goat noise. <laughs> I would do it in a heartbeat. I think it's the funniest thing ever. Okay, you have both played Alphaba. Yeah. You've both played Alphaba a lot. Like for a, you're two, you're two of the longest running alphabas. You're, you're like, yeah, you're, you're well, like, yeah. Actually, no, no, D actually has played it way more than me. For seven years, right, D? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I can hold a candle to D. Oh, please, Jackie Burns. I, no, you play, I can't even imagine <laughs> seven years. I did it for what? One, two, three. She's got the best divine gravity I've ever heard. She's like, I can't hold a candle. No, but I did it for like th- half of the time that you did it. And like, and let's talk about like, and she, I, I just. Actually, heard. wait, this is interesting. When, I, when did you start? You don't remember the year that 19- changed your life? Your life has changed forever? <laughs> It was uh, 1976. Well, I mean, it seems, everyone seems to think that like I took over right at, people be like, oh, you've been taking over for Adidas. And I was like, I'm 10 10 years younger. I was just graduated college. No, ma'am, I did not just like, it was like eight years later. Thank you. No, um, I was, how old was I? I was 29, I think. 
when I get to go there? 20, like, so it was like 2009, I want to say. And you started no. on Broadway? Oh. No, I started on tour, 2000, oh. and then, and Dee replaced me. That's how we met. And I like made her be my friend. Um, was it 2009? I think it was like 2009 to two. I did hair in 2008 and then I went and did Wicked and that was 2009, I think. And then I did the tour from 2009 to 2010 ish. And then I went to Broadway 2010 to 2012 ish. I want to say. Who were your, so I came... go ahead D go ahead. No. So I came right at, I, so I came right after I did Broadway. I came, I went to the tour. I love how I'm asking everyone else what, what I did. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Right. You, yes, 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 yes. Because I remember when I got out there to learn the show and they were bringing around me around to meet everybody. I remember Marianne Torres, who's the standby at the time, was watching a video of you doing Defying Gravity on Broadway. And she was like, oh, this is the girl who's playing it right now on Broadway. And I didn't know who you were. And I was like, oh my God, what's her name? Dee Rossioli, future best friend. Oh my God. <laughs> And then you knew right then that you would track me down and stalk me until you could put me in your little pocket and take me everywhere. Yes, literally. And wait, should I show Tim what our what it looks like to be um, besties? Please oh, show me what it looks like, like to be besties. You're going to think also, differently of us after this. You're going to be I, so embarrassed. I'm obsessed with the narrative of this story that has it has turned into some sort of like single white female situation with like oh, Jackie, I, the way you described it on the pod was like, I told her she was going to be my friend. <laughs> I did. And she was like, and I, told, no. I just, I didn't let her, I was like, I'll just keep calling you. But like, literally, I don't know if you can see this. No, you probably can't see it. Like all we do oh, is leave each oh. other voice messages, like 24 seven. But this all is day. like, an hour of one day. It's every day, like 50 times a day. Our significant others make fun of us 24 seven. Yeah. Like, oh, hi, Jackie. Oh, hi, Dee. Oh, um, I just brushed my teeth. How are you? Okay, I'm peeing. Hi. <laughs> so I actually brought you here because this is yeah. an intervention. Your significant others contact <laughs> like, me. Our boyfriends our family, you. Yeah. <laughs> And they said, we need you to do something about this. They have a deeply codependent relationship while it is beautiful. That's that's honestly so sweet. How special is it to have somebody like that in your life that you know, like, you can always count on them? Well, I will tell you what, like, it's great, especially now because we all feel crazy because everything is different. We don't know what's going on. You know, it's just, we're all over the place. So it's constantly like, you know, we talk about a, a range of things, but a lot of the time it's like, did you get this audition? What are you doing? What's happening? Like, or no, I didn't get that. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't get that audition. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't get that audition either. I mean, that's like, it's usually like this, or, you know, I got this, you should call your agents and make sure they give this audition to you. Like, it's a very supportive, lift each other up kind of thing, which is amazing. And I, that's why I don't like, I don't like it when people like, pit women against each other, especially in theater. Like, it's like, Jackie and I are both very fiercely competitive, like really strong women. And it's, you know, we support each other to that degree. I think because we're both confident enough in what we offer that, you know, I can say, no, Jackie be a fuck. Like, can I say the F word? No, no there are so many 10 year olds that are so offended and just unsubscribed. I'm so sorry, Tim. They're so offended. It's funny that you say that because a big part of we're now on iHeartRadio Broadway Network. Thank you so much. Woo! So, so much and thanks to you ladies because the, the alphabet interviews, I think were a big uh, draw, but a big conversation about that was like, we would love for eighth graders in Nebraska to uh, listen to this. And in my beautiful head and heart, I said, yeah, on YouTube, I think that's great. Um, but you know who doesn't really listen to podcasts? <laughs> Middle schoolers. <laughs> Yeah. I guess are mostly people in their 20s 30s and 40s like yeah. no one is on the school bus like okay oh I just heard D say the f word <laughs> like no schoolers are at podcast. Practice. they're not listening to podcasts That's so, so like, you can say the f word D go, go for it I forget what I was actually saying but fuck it <laughs> <laughs> there goes You're syndication saying, they get the it Great. Brooke now we'll never. Great. We're gonna Where be streaming are our all night. Text coming from? <laughs> Wait, you were saying pitting women against each other, especially in theater, and you guys really support each other. 
Yeah, totally. I mean, that's really the end of the story. I was just being long winded, but like, you know, that's us like, you know, all because it's just like, it's nice to have somebody that is, you know, Jackie and I are basically at the same point in our careers and like, just to, as like a checkpoint, like I'm feeling like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that too. Oh, great. Somebody else feels that way. And we don't have to, and we, you know, we both talk each other off the ledge frequently. So it's like, it's nice to have somebody that's really at such an understanding of where you're at that, you know, cause I'm, you know, I have a lot of supportive people in my life, but she knows exactly when I say something, she's like, yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're feeling. And it's just, it's comforting to have that. So and, we and let's are, be yeah. honest, she's talking me off the ledge much more than vice versa. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's more, it's more deep like, okay, Jackie, it's okay. <laughs> and I'm like, but is it, is it okay, B? And she's like, mm, yes, she, no. it is okay. <laughs> and then like yeah, once every just, six months, I'll be like the one and it makes me feel so special. I'm like, it's, it's okay, D. And I get off and I'm like, oh, yes, one out of 700. <laughs> I did it. No, you know what it really is? It's just that Jackie is like really open and like has no filter as you know, everyone can see. And like, we'll just, she just has to get it out when she's feeling it. And like me, I'm just like, I'll process it more before I bring it to her. Like I like in my mind, before I bring something to her, I like run it through my brain in every possible incarnation. And then I'm like, okay, I'm still freaking out. And I don't know how to get out of this knot. And then, then I'll say to her. But she's just at the beginning, she's like, boom. I'm more like you, Dee, and I want to be more like you, Jackie. Like I'm, no. and I think every relationship, this is a very fascinating thing to tap into. I think every relationship that's really healthy and functioning is because people are different in that way. Like you guys mm -hmm. help each other. Cause like my best friend and I are like that. My best friend has um, been my best friend since we were three and similar thing. Like I'm mostly coming to her being like, help me, help me, help me. But then in my romantic relationship, I would say Michael is the one who's very like Jackie, who's very like, this is what's going on right now. This is how I'm feeling. I'm very direct. And I can be really like, I'm upset about this, but I don't want to like say it in the wrong way. And then I hold it in for so long and then it can be like worse, <laughs> you know, rather than just like, you know, like doing the, the example of Jackie of being like, this is how I feel like I get it out. Yeah. But it's also well, probably very exhausting for your, the partners. Like I, like my, my boyfriend Mark today was like, <laughs> like I have 800 emotions in five seconds. Like I am insane. Like he goes to hug me and I'm like, no, I don't want to. Okay. Yeah, I know. No, you know, actually, oh no, your breath is bad. Oh my God. Did I tell you I want to go to the grocery store later? But like, actually, no, I don't. Wait. Oh, I have to do that thing. Do you think that I look fat? And it's like, what do you, and like, and it's just like crazy. And it's like, it's like a roller coaster. There's like, oh my God, say. And he said so the other day, he was like, Jackie, not every thought you think has to be spoken out loud. And I was like, well, then what's the point of having those thoughts? Like he says that to me. And I'm like, I don't, I have to share them. <laughs> They're What's the gifts. point of living? Yeah, this is this is the I mean, coming out of me. You need to hear yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to like. I don't want selfish. I'm not going to keep this all for myself. These are nuggets of gold. We should spread them to the world. I am like so the opposite. I am like, oh, I have that thought, and it doesn't really matter. So it's fine, and it'll go away, and then it does, and. And then something else will pop up and I'm just like, so that's, I think that's, that's really why that, that is our big key difference. Um, but I'm definitely a sharer. Like, I'm not like, I don't, I don't hold it in per se. Like if I'm having like really hard feelings, I definitely, I'm an express person. Uh, that's a good, that's a better way to be. So I need to learn a little bit from both of you in that way. I'm going to take, I'm going to take some of that and some of this. If we were at a slumber party together, what would what would you two want to do at a slumber party? Let's say it's just the two of you, actually. Eat candy. What kind of candy? Well, Twizzlers. Ooh. Twizzlers. Yeah, or Australian licorice person. I hate licorice. Oh, see, no, I love licorice. I don't really, I, I used to love gummy bears, but more because they were like, they, you know, I would have them before. I don't know if you ever did this, Jackie, but like before you sing to have a suck on a gummy bear. I didn't, but I knew a lot of girls that did. Yeah, and it actually is really helpful, but now I'm kind of sick of gummy bears because of that. So I'm not really into like the gummy candy like that, but licorice is a big thing. I'm not like a huge chocolate person though. 
I'm, I'm more like, of a potato chips kind of girl. Like I love yeah. potato chips so much. And if you put popcorn and potato chips together. Mm. Okay, Stop. I know Actually, what I'm doing with my evening. Thank you. <laughs> Ever do the um, popcorn and then like the um, peanut M&Ms. Oh yeah, the, that's good too. Yeah, when you pile so everything good. in. You guys, I made my own raisin nets the other day. How? Uh, I'm a genius. No, I, it was kind of <laughs> half of an accident. So I had this, I had like a little bit of this like paleo chocolate, which doesn't have like real sugar or whatever. And so, and I was like, jonesing hard for like some ice cream and i'm like do not go have ice cream you're gonna feel bad about yourself you just eat ice cream you've had plenty for dinner so i was like melted that i mean this is like I i'm like a drug addict when it comes to this. i'm like melted the chocolate down in like a double <laughs> boiler and then i poured the raisins in and i mixed it up put it in the freezer and i was like i just made healthy raisinettes and i was very proud of myself and they were delicious oh, nice that's full break they're really bad, good but in a good way yeah yeah, yeah, but yeah. in a healthy way. Yeah, in a healthy. I just imagine yeah. you with like a spoon and a lighter, like I'm gonna make yeah, these raisins. Yeah. <laughs> I will not have an ice cream. I will not have ice cream. Oh my god! Oh. Wait, that's so fun. Okay, so we'd obviously watch more goat videos. We would be goat eating videos. a lot of candy and chips. Jackie, let's get into the chips, baby. Let's get into the chips. What kind of chips? I am a chip purist. I don't like flavors. I want, I want it. I want when you open the bag, it just smell like a fart. Like that is what, <laughs> that's a good chip bag. Lays, you, lays, right? I, I, I right now, I, 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 I waffle. I change. Like sometimes I'm a huge lays girl. And then sometimes I'm an oats girl. And then sometimes like on oats, I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I want ruffles. Sometimes I want plain. And then now I've been into the ruffles sea salt um plain ruffled potato chips mm -hmm. delicious i just the fart smell it makes me laugh and i just love them and i just like i want to taste the salt and the crunchiness and i don't like kettle kettle chips whatever they're kettle cook chips. oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. if i'm in a bind i'll eat them but only if i have a sandwich because i can't eat a sandwich without chips <gasps> you got and so you know like, what i love like to do gourmet, what? what i love to do a subway sandwich you open it up, you pour that bag of chips put, onto the sandwich, mama, and you just, now you got a chip. And you just live your best sandwich. life. And you're living your best life. You're absolutely you know, living. I, I, I can't do the chips. See, I'm a weirdo because I am a separate thing. So like, and I have a, like, so it's like bite of sandwich, bite of chip, bite of pickle, drink, and then repeat. Rinse, rinse, wash, and repeat. Like, it's like, and yeah. And if I run out of chips before my sandwich, then I can't finish my sandwich or I have to take whoever else's chips I'm with. And they have to just understand that it's, it's necessary. You need the balance. For me. Yeah. You gotta I need the, balance. Yeah. I think it's weird. I think it's weird when people eat like, like Ben will eat one thing, one thing, one thing. And I like, he'll eat an entire right? Yeah. 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 He'll yeah. eat his whole sandwich and then he'll eat the chips. And I'm like, ew. Yeah. No. I agree. I like it all mixed together. Me too. Yeah. But not, but separately. Like, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in, like, like, not like you, Tim, with the, in the sandwich, but I like it, like, like, I'll do what you do, Jackie. Like, the, the bite, the bite, the bite. And the pickle is actually really important, too, because that yeah. provides a whole other flavor level that's, like, yes. yeah, I'm 100% with and you. And no bread and butter pickles, because those are nasty. No, no, like dill, like actual yeah. dill pickles. Dill, you, oh, hate... uh, well, yeah. Yeah. 100%. And when they, like, fool you, with a bread and butter and you take a bite thinking it's a dill, there's no worse. I mean, there's so many bad things me. in the world, but nothing but worse than a bread worst. and butter. I'm agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah. Don't try Although to Although I'm also, yeah. There's a big, I, I really like a banana pepper too. Oh, banana pepper's nice. Yeah. yeah. If I'm there's no big, pickle. I'm not a big pepper scal. I, I need, it's pickle or bust. Yeah, peppers, peppers don't really do it for me. I'm not gonna have a pepper with a sandwich, I agree, but like a nice banana pepper with like calamari or like, you know what I mean? Like is, is an accoutrement or on pizza. I've never had on pizza. Well, the Papa John's used to give you a peppercini. Which oh, really right, 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 right. Oh. Yes, yes, and yes. the peppercini, I forget the brand, but the peppercini uh, chips are really good too. I think oh. those are like, 
I know, I know you're not a big flavor person, but like those were actually, I like a dill flavored potato chip or the peppercini potato, like flavored potato chip. I'll do People that. You're going to be so like, hungry listening to this. <laughs> gonna, I was going to say, you're like, riveted right now. With that the eighth grader chips in between science stuff. class listening on podcast, on, on his podcast right. apps. Be like, on the bus, mm, on the bus. Barbecue chips can go suck it. Those are fighting words, D. I like a little flavor. I like, I, I'll take a barbecue chip, honestly. You know what is, is, is it for me? Sour cream. I watched Eurovision the other day with a friend. Actually, being able to hang out with people again feels so nice. Sour cream. What is Eurovision? Cheddar. Okay. Mm. D, do you know what Eurovision is? Yeah. Is that is that it? that Will Ferrell movie? Yeah. Okay. Oh. The movie is based on the very real yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the movie? Oh, you're watching the real thing. I watched the real Eurovision. Oh, oh no, I don't know anything about that. It was this past week, and it was um. It's, it's like a huge deal in Europe. Like they like, it's, I, we don't even really have, it's almost like the Super Bowl, but for people like us, <laughs> like like theater nerds and gays okay. and, and you know, like anyone who would want to watch like drag-esque. It's basically like they wear huge, insane costumes and each country writes and choreographs and performs a song and they compete. And then it's like a really big deal. Like whoever wins, it's like a huge honor for that country. And it's- Who crazy. won? I didn't watch to the end. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I don't know. I'm yeah, let's Because it doesn't out. matter who wins. Oh, uh, say hi to Ben. Hi. Hey, Ben. Hi. How are you? Oh, it's you. I'm good. How are yes, you? Yes, Tim. Oh, I forget things after you tell me. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? You must be, I think you're the hottest person I've seen <laughs> in I don't know how long, Tim. How do you oh, do I it? You were, I thought you were talking to Jackie. I was like, oh yeah, I mean, go on, go on. No. Uh, well, that would be nice. I see Jackie. I don't care about Well, I hear Jackie. I hear Jackie's all, like all, all, all the time. See? Ben, that Boys is the highest, queen. highest compliment in the entire world to me because when I first saw you, I was like, well, that's obviously the hottest person I've ever seen in my life. And I saw you nude in hair at Ball State University. Whoa, oh. I forgot about that. See, I, I, I don't think I met you then because we the first time I recall meeting you was at the at the wedding uh, with uh, Amanda Yeah, that's Max. probably right. That's probably right. But I was looking at you like, well, that's the star from the show. But you saw me naked before that? In the well, show. There were, that's a mind fuck to me though. But, but there like, were like, oh, <laughs> you got you two have both done hair there were like 30 people on stage so i don't i wasn't like i don't fully remember i was and pretty much in the front though you couldn't, you couldn't see. <laughs> no it's not good Sorry. You, you guys go no i i need no, to see you soon i need to see you soon i must see you soon i must see you soon yeah, jackie, jackie fully won. left the room jackie, jackie actually left. left the chat she said <laughs> i've had enough she's here she's full out for her comedy that's why <laughs> No, you guys, so I am full out for my comments. No, but I was like, these are real best friends. D and I are just like, clearly, you know, like, like not Jackie. real. Jackie. Well, I haven't seen you fully naked. Wait, that's a lie. Yes, I have. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. I've been in the dressing room with you when you were doing Elphaba. Do you I've seen you fully naked. Do you get fully naked to do Elphaba? Like to get fully green? Yeah. Well, you have to, yeah, because you got to, they give you underwear. It's me. This is what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You had an identical <laughs> sculpture made. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is for my, this, these are my underwear. For those listening at home, Jackie is holding up a, a full, a, a, like, how would you, a full witch like a craft doll. craft witch doll. A craft yeah. witch, like a Michael's craft witch doll. <laughs> Just... Absolutely. She's very Vi big. Slobbering. She's very big. Yeah, she's, she's large beautiful. doll. Gorgeous. Look at That's this. Come on. Chandra. Stun my mom's our hair is like the same though. Did you notice that? Like the my my hair on that doll and the my hair right now and the hair on that doll are the same. Well, I just so you know what it is, is it's just yarn. So your hair is yarn. Oh, I it looked different <laughs> to me when it was further away. It looked like it was poofier. No, Maybe it's also got like some cool beading in it. Yeah, I definitely, that's okay, my hair. Wow. I have a that's fun alphabet question that I just came up with off the top of my head for you both, for you alphabesties. It's on track. 
if you didn't know, we can go off track at any <laughs> old, any old time. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep you on track. Meanwhile, your boyfriend comes in the chat and I, <laughs> to yeah, I saw you naked. <laughs> okay, if you were doing, if you could tag out to your bestie while doing Wicked, mm. what songs would you, Jackie, What when would you want to tag out to have D come in? And D, when would you want to tag out and have Jackie oh. come in? Like, are there parts of the show where you're like, I'd rather not? <laughs> yeah. So I would, Dee could take the top of the show and give me the and that beautiful wizard and I that she does yep. so well. Um, I, I would, I would do that. And then I would, I would definitely tap you in um, for Define Gravity. And then we would duet, um, I'm Not That Girl. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. You cute. know what I mean? Like, it, but, like so we're not those girls <laughs> <laughs> that's good i like that and then um i would probably well depends how like hot the fiero is i was gonna say i could like t i would probably tap you out for i would tap you in for as long as you're mine oh i was gonna say you could dig it <laughs> no you can have that unless he's like really hot and he wants to slip me a lot of time you know <laughs> Yeah, you're so crazy that way. Oh my God. Well, I had an overbearing boyfriend at the time when I was doing the show. So I couldn't, if I even, if I even dreamt about giving any more than like a tight lip stage kiss, then I'd be dead. So That's smart. shocking to me. When people are like that, I'm like, what do you think this is? Like, we have to, we have to kiss boys to like, as part of our job. <laughs> we have to kiss boys. <laughs> yeah. No. Hello. It was crazy. Um, that no is good wild. deed. What would would I would want to? Would you want to do no good deed or do you? Want yeah, I think we both want to do no good deed. So we'd have to rock paper scissors for that one. Okay. Okay. What if you and did it you like a full? Absolutely take for good. No, you can take for good. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm done. No, You'd no, have no, to, I'm done. done after no good. <laughs> You'd have to do well, four good together. Essentially, yes. As besties. Yeah, we do for good together. You do it cool. together. Yeah, just. Holding hands in unison like the twins from The Shining. Yeah. Oh, nice. I was going to go with Sideshow, but like, whatever. Well, yes, I just think it'd be creepy to sing for good to Glinda in unison with the two. Oh my God. Yeah. That should be, be like. That terrifying. Come I've play with us, said. Glinda. <laughs> <laughs> Come play with you. No, good. No, I'm good. I'm good. For No Good Deed, you'd have to diva tag it. Do you know diva tag? Oh, yeah. Like uh, basically whenever you want in the middle of a phrase, you tag who's on stage with you and they have to oh, right. continue singing. It's actually so fun. Yeah. Um, I actually did that with Alyssa Fox in Fire Island with Wizard and I, and it is so fun. I've been dying to get Jackie to do it with me. We yeah. were trying to find a time to do something like that. Oh my God. If you do that, please let me know. Also, please do that in Fire Island again. And please do that in Palm Springs. You two should come out to Palm Springs we will the gays we will come out in full force to watch you okay. diva tag jackie do you want to yeah. go perform in palm springs with me yes i would <laughs> great done see great are, done wait are, if, are you you two, the gig? <laughs> if you diva tagged a show together i would that would be my dream show to watch i would that would be so fun we're gonna diva tag every single song ever written God, okay, that'd be so cool. by humans. Yeah, it would just be a night of diva. You, mid work. God, wait. I think it's the same. Last time, D. Last time I, you were on the pod, I talked to you about the the children declaring you option up for bar. And then y'all know I'm a, a true wicked freak. So I've seen literally every video. Jackie, I did not talk to you about this because I think I watched this video after our interview. Did you? Okay, slumber party vibes. What were your first kisses like? <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. Do you want to go first, Jackie? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay, great. I was in seventh grade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to happen really bad, but it, this guy, Mike, I won't say it, well, Mike Misro. So um, he really liked me and I, he was really cute and he was really nice, but I just, I, I honestly, I think it's because he liked me that I was like, no, I want something to, you know, really hard to get. 
Um, and so we were, I had people over like when I wasn't supposed to during the day in the summertime and we were in my room and we were standing, looking at my wall that was covered in new kids on the block. And he was pretending to be interested in my posters. And then, you know, he kissed me, but this is the, the worst part is, is that my friend Shelly, cause I asked her, I was like, I don't know how to kiss. Like, what do I do? And she's like, oh, when you kiss, you just want to put your tongue you want to put your tongue here, 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 here in the middle and then repeat. And I was like, okay. So the second that man put it, well, that boy put his lips on my lips. I was like, got it. No. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ah! Then, <laughs> did he, what if, did he recoil or was he, did he match you? No, no, he matched me. And then he wanted to come back for seconds and I was too nervous and I wouldn't let him. Like, I was like, that's it. And I like left the room. <laughs> oh, but I can hear Michael laughing from the other That room. is hilarious. It was terrible. It was oh terrible. It's so funny. And then I was like, this can't, I, I actually got it like in the middle of it. I was like, this can't be right. This doesn't feel right. So like, good. Oh you're God. doing full like pinball machine with your yes. tongue. Terrible. Oh, oh no. you get your pinball with <laughs> <laughs> That you know what's so striking about that story, D, is like the way that we, especially when we're kids, you're instead of being in the moment and enjoying it, you're thinking about what you were supposed to do. Yeah. Like that sucks for for children that you're like, you're so the social anxiety of that was like, okay, this is what I have to have happen. So I need to make sure this is right, rather than just like experiencing your first kiss i feel like that's a just a general truth about most people's first time doing anything but yeah yeah, yeah i was gonna say i don't think it's just when you're a kid i think it's probably extends into adulthood right yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah i still kiss like that <laughs> up down right left circle circle round and round <laughs> your boyfriend's like i don't know why i'm staying yeah he's like i hate the, i hate it but here i am well <laughs> i'm glad i'm a kisser but I'm glad I didn't, we didn't, we, you never gave in and kissed me because I would have been, it would have been so sad. <laughs> it would have been so sad. I would, all my fantasies about D would have been out the window. Like, oh no, really? Don't worry, I've changed my technique. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Thank oh, good. God. <laughs> yeah. I thought, you know, it was like, let, sometime last week I was like, this isn't working anymore. I got to change this up, so. Ben, that Ben's so, so excited. Ben's like, Thank God. That is so funny. Jackie, what Thank about God. you? What was your first kiss? Well, I was the opposite of Dee, where I am the biggest prude in the world. And um, I- Also the biggest flirt simultaneously. Yes, I am the biggest flirt. I will make you think. And then like, if you go to kiss me, even still to this day, well, not anymore. I have like, but like the first kiss of any dating somebody, like I literally will laugh in your face. Like you come at me and I'm like- <laughs> Like, like I get so, I get so uncomfortable. I'm so weird. Uh, I don't know why. And then, I, but then, like once I get past that, then I'm like, all right, let's go. But like that first, like it's very nerve wracking. Anyways, so I was in um, what grade was I in? I was in seventh grade too. Uh, and I had had a few boyfriends, and it would get to the point of like they would want to kiss me, and then I'd break up with them. Right? because oh I was so God. afraid so afraid and it was like starting to get around in the school like that like I was like a tease or something <laughs> where really oh I was so, so scared and then then it ended up being the guy that I was my first kiss his name was Seth and I dated him from from seventh grade until my senior year is my first kiss my first everything right like you know is my high school oh God, you were like 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 a legit couple like you were like the the stable oh, yeah. couple of the yeah. school Wow. And I'm from a small oh. town and everybody, all they ever wanted to know was going on with Jackie and Seth. Like, you know what I mean? Cause I'm, <sighs> but, 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 so I remember, you know where I lived. So I live on this really big hill. Right. And I, Seth had like come over. He was like older and he had his license and, um, come over and hung out. And like, he tried to kiss me. And again, I had like laughed and we were like studying and he like got really mad at me. and was like, you know what, Jackie, I'm leaving. And I was like, okay. And he like, left and I went running down the hill after him oh. and he was in his car and he was like what and I was like fine you want to kiss fine let's just do it <laughs> that, was like, 
That was my first kiss. Just do it. Was it with tongue? Did you do it with tongue? I don't remember. I just remember being so mad. Because I was like, because of course I would be mad and make it a bad thing that somebody wanted to kiss me. Ugh. From a cloud. Over I, yeah, literally. And he was like. <laughs> oh my God. That, and then that after, like... then I was like, you know, all the time. <laughs> First of all, Let's Seth is a hot out. name. Seth is a hot guy name. Seth was very, very, I thought Seth was very hot. He had dark curly hair and he was like, played soccer and like, he was like very cute. But then he ended up cheating on me all the time. So like, he kind of sucked. Oh, so screw him. That is, you're really describing the plot of like a teen drama. This is like, that's like the pilot of Dawson's Creek. No. No. friend, Patricia, she was Dutch. And yeah, she she was like blonde and gorgeous. And I remember like, yeah, I was so upset. Like we had gone, we had all gone to a party the night before. And like, I had the earliest, the earliest curfew because my parents were strict. So like I would, Seth dropped me off at home and then like went back to the party and then like fooled around with Patricia. And then it was like, I knew that something was going on because everybody in school the next day was so weird to me. Like, hey, Jackie. And I was like, hey, like what? Is happening and then oh, finally somebody told me all the time you have me back and then finally somebody was like you know i just want to let you know like seth and patricia like hooked up at the party after you left and i was like did you go beat her up i yelled at, i did yell at her and everybody was just circle i did not beat her up and then we're friends again yes and did i continue dating him yes because i was used to be quite the pushover I'm a still a pushover. You could actually like stab me and then be like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> like, I am the most forgiving <laughs> human being in the world. I don't know what it is. It's not a good, it's sometimes yes, it is. a wonderful trait, <laughs> but sometimes not so much. Like literally, if you say you're sorry to me, I, I'm like, okay. You have to say it a few times though. That's the other thing. You could be like, I'm sorry. And I'll be like, but are you? Yes, I said I was sorry, but like, are you really sorry? Yes. Then I'm like, okay. I that's think that's good. a that's good a trait. Point. It's it's yeah, it's good being as someone who's working on not being a grudge holder anymore. I'm really working on forgiveness, mm-hmm. and I think it can it really. I mean, on this end of the spectrum, it's like so detrimental to your mental health, like constantly being mad at people. But I think the trick is it's good that you're forgiving, but never forget. Like yeah, I'm um, very like it's fine, everything's fine, oh. like a goldfish, like. <laughs> so stupid. I, I actually think that's better. I, I don't know, Tim. I don't know. I think you want to maybe the the, the first. I think you do want to forget. I think the idea is like when you forgive someone, you forgive them, and then it's like you start again. I I mean, at least I think. But what so I that, feel that's like what's best for you. I'm reading this book called The Forgiveness Book. Let me pull it out for you right now. And I the what they say oh, yeah. in the book uh, in the book of forgiving is that. Okay, I understand what Desmond you're saying Tutu. about for, about forgetting Desmond Tutu, but but his whole thing is like, okay, yes, but if that person is like always an hour late to go to lunch with you, and you forgive oh. them for that, you don't want to forget and then keep going to lunch and having them be an hour late and like not respect your time. You, you know what I mean? Like I you want to remember that they did that and be like, okay, well I'm not gonna go to lunch. I forgive you for your for you like not respecting me but i'm not gonna forget that that happened so i won't be going to lunch with you anymore you know what i mean it's like i yeah. understand that, that makes sense? sense that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. i was thinking a little more like you know a, like more deeper issues than just like disrespecting of time or space like that kind of thing like i was going a little deeper with it but oh yeah, I, yeah like that makes- yeah, like you don't want to like have it be yeah you don't want to like internalize like, that uh, trauma and like be holding on to it that makes yeah, sense. Exactly. That makes sense. yeah 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 forget Set it and forget it in that and way. Forget it. Set it and forget yeah. it. Um, this has been so much fun. I could talk to you both for so long, but we do have to wrap up. Where can the people find you if they want to follow you on the socials? Um, I I'm just what am I at T Rossi? You both have to look it up. This is so, it's so funny to me. I can look it up as well. Um, yeah, at T Rossioli. Yeah, at DRossioli on Instagram, and that's really all. And then uh, DRossioli online for Facebook and for YouTube, like, because I'll post uh, YouTube videos of, like, you know, if I 
perform somewhere and that kind of thing. Your YouTube videos are so great. The ones of you belting your butthole off in concerts, I love, love, love. And your funny, hilarious videos too. You have to follow the oh, you. on YouTube. The sketch videos are so good. The quarantine videos were killing me. The spam a lot one, the wicked one. If y'all are watching this, you have to deep dive into Dee's YouTube channel. Yeah, thank so you. Good. And Ben wrote those lyrics, so that's he's he's actually and they're so and so uh, funny. And yeah. Jackie, where the people can find you at Jackie uh, Burns NYC on Instagram. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and, and, and on Twitter, and, and um, um, and I also have a YouTube channel that I don't know or something too. <laughs> you, you must. I'll put I'll put Jackie and Dee's YouTube channels in the comments of this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Subscribe to yeah. both of them. Watch these ladies, and of course check them out in their upcoming concert of Diva Tag that we're hoping will come to- In Palm Springs. Palm Springs, baby. I'm also, gonna get a little wink that your wish might be coming true. So maybe not, I don't know about Palm Springs, but- Oh. Or LA, LA. Concert with, with Jack, well, concert with Jackie and I might be in your future. Oink, oink. Okay. Oink. I really- I've been working on my wink. <laughs> it's very good. That's our winks. Wink, wink. I love also, if you guys want to, like, if, if do people watch this on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Like, watch us, too? Yeah. Um, I was thinking, I realized how many times I touched my hair. You guys should play it as a drinking game. Every time I touch my hair, you take a shot. <laughs> like, how drunk would you be at the end of this? We would be okay. that much funnier. I'll put a video at the beginning of this that says, every time Jackie touches her hair, take a shot. <laughs> I, I shot, 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 shot. <laughs> um this has been an absolute blast thank you so much for joining me and thank listeners and watchers thank you so much for watching we'll catch you on the flip side Bye. thank you